First, make sure this intervention is appropriate. It may be in accordance with the healthcare provider's order, for example, or you can assess for adventitious breath sounds and signs of altered oxygen saturation, including cyanotic nails, lips, mucous membranes, or skin, restlessness, and difficulty breathing. You know, I'd also like to put a pulse oximeter on you to see how much oxygen is in your blood. Okay. Then, select a site to place the sensor, such as the patient's earlobe, the forehead, the bridge of the nose, or a finger. Nice and warm. That's good. Okay, I also want to look at your feet. Okay. I'm going to remove your sock. All right. Okay, I think your hand will be the best place for the pulse oximeter. Okay. Avoid a finger on the same side as an electronic blood pressure cuff. And avoid any site that has edema, altered skin integrity, or hypothermia. For a finger, remove any nail polish or artificial nail with acetone or polish remover. Check your capillary In the refill. selected site, assess the capillary refill. If it's more than three Good seconds, select an alternative site. If capillary refill is less than three seconds, ensure that the site is free of moisture. When a patient has special needs, plan to use an ear for a patient with tremors, an ear or bridge of the nose for one with peripheral vascular disease, a disposable tape-on sensor for an active patient or obese patient, or a clip-on sensor instead of a disposable adhesive one for a patient with a latex allergy. Position the patient comfortably. If you're measuring pulse oximetry on her finger, instruct the patient to breathe normally. Then attach the sensor to the selected site, instructing the patient that the clip-on probe will feel like a clothespin on the finger, but won't hurt. Turn on the oximeter. After you get a pulse waveform and intensity display and an audible beep, assess the patient's radial pulse and compare it with the oximeter pulse rate. So this is a pulse oximeter, okay. and what it does is it uses light to measure how much oxygen is attached to hemoglobin in your blood. Okay. And that's going to be this top number here. Leave the sensor in place until the oximeter reading is constant and the pulse display reaches full strength during each cardiac cycle. And the bottom number is your heart rate. Okay. 60 to 100 is a normal heart rate. Okay. Now I'm just going to palpate your radial pulse and compare the uh, heart rate I have palpating your pulse with the number the machine is giving me. All right. Then read the peripheral oxygen saturation, or SpO2, on the digital display. For continuous monitoring, adjust the alarm limits for the SpO2 and pulse rate based on the patient's condition and or healthcare provider's orders and verify that the alarms are preset and on.